In today's lesson, we are going to build a React application where the user is able to upload images, preview the image, and even download the image. We also will display a progress here, which basically shows how much uh, the image was uploaded to the server. We will use, of course, Firestore for this, where we are uh, saving and storing the images the user is uploading. As you can see, we have here the file uh, with the preview of the image and some other information. So if we go to the application, click on choose file and upload here a, a picture, you see the progress changes and we get immediately here a download me button and of course the image we just have uploaded. And so if we click on download me, we go directly to the link where we can download the image. Now of course everything is stored inside Firestore. so. As you can see, we have here a preview of the uploaded uh, file and uh, lots of information that are already coming with it automatically. Now, you don't need any previous experience for this tutorial in React. It's never a bad idea to have some basic knowledge about HTML and CSS. However, we are not going to style the page, uh, as you can see. And if you're wondering what React is, I also made a quick introduction to it. Uh, there is a video on my channel. I will put down the link in the description to the video. And yeah, I would say let's get started. Let's open up your terminal and let's CD to your desktop. I'm already on my desktop, so I don't have to do this. And let's create a new app and let's call it create React app and then uh, upload. React upload. This will take a moment. I will pause the video here and start again once it's finished. React has just created our boilerplate here. And by the way, if you don't have a create React app as your boilerplate, simply type in npm install g for the global tag and then create React app. I talked about this, what create React app is in my um, in my previous video. So if you're wondering, check that out so let's cd into the uh, folder here so cd uploads we need two more modules in order to make this work so i use yarn and i highly recommend you to use yarn as well so i have to type in yarn add and then firebase and then we also need react um, firebase file uploader so it's basically a package file here um, where we get some kind of cool functions array with it so we don't have to uh, write this all on our own uh, so our code will look a lot more cleaner and this way and works just fine so I hit enter and this works so Firebase and the uploader is installed in our project so let's run yarn run start this will start the server here all right, so there we go. So let's create a new tab here, Adam dot to open up the text editor and let's adjust the app.js file. So inside source, uh, let's go to app.js and let's delete everything and let's create a new diff. Control S and let's refresh our browser and it's now empty, okay. So uh, the next step you need to do is to go to Firebase and register a new account if you haven't registered already. Uh, it's completely for free, uh, of course, if you have high traffic and there are some costs to it. But again, um, Google will probably warn you uh, before you have to pay something. So uh, you're just fine. You will be fine with um, some simple applications like this. So, um, go to add project and let's create a new project here so simply type in a new name and then uh, choose your region and click on accept the terms and then create project i don't need to do this because i already have a few uh, projects here um, so once you're finished with that inside project overview you have here this button uh, that says add firebase to your web app i don't want to show this because these are the credentials to your application so whoever have these I can upload things to your applications. So keep this always a secret. And uh, this way you also prevent any people doing some weird things with your application. Okay. So in this case, you simply have to copy that and 
inside our app inside our project let's click on source new file let's call it fire or uh, firebase config.js so let's paste your credentials in here again i changed this here of course so that my credentials are secret um we have to do here one more thing and that is to delete this here and say export default config and that's basically all inside app.js we import first of the file uploader from uh, react firebase file uploader and then we also want to import firebase of course so we are able to interact with the api so import and then uh, from and then firebase all right and here we simply paste the firebase command so we are want to initialize the app uh, from the config but of course we have to uh, import our config here so let's do this as well so import and then config from and then dot slash and then the uh, firebase config file Right, when we are going back to our server and open up the console, you will see that we don't get any error or anything. So this is here just a simple warning and the logo is not defined. So let's delete this here as well. We don't use the logo anymore and we're fine. All right, so we just have initialized Firebase to our application. So we are basically ready to use it. And we use also, like I said, the file uploader. And file uploader has a lot of functions already um, that are uh, pre-defined um, for us. So we can use them and we will do this right now. All right, so let's get started and create these states. So state equals and then we need a reference for the image name. So let's simply call uh, create a string called image. Then let's create also a string called image image URL where we store the uh, download link later on. And then let's also add a progress with uh, zero. All right. So since we are using a file uploader. Uh, we can, we don't need to define the button and all the functions. Uh, with file uploader, we are getting already a few functions here. So that we can use, it's pretty handy. We save a lot of time with that. And that's not actually necessary to write down all this code because it's really repetitive. Uh, there are, however, a lot of tutorials out there if you want to learn the normal way of doing this without file uploader and probably I will do some in the future as well. So down here, we simply get the file uploader and then we can access a few attributes here. If we reload our uh, server here, you see we get already the button here and the notify chosen text. First, let's define what we can accept. So in this case, we want to accept only images. The name is an image. And then we have attributes where we can define also what's going to happen. First off, let's define where the storage reference is. So in this case, Firebase storage and then the reference for that and since i already have an image folder let's call this in this case uh, avatars of course inside a string so avatars then we have attributes where we can access uh, what's going to happen when the file was uploaded successfully or not so in this case on upload start let's create a, a handle here for the upload start and then we also have on upload success let's create here this dot handle upload success here uh, above render we create the functions now so handle upload start a bad error function and then we simply define the progress here at zero of course inside 
the state. So this dot set state and then progress zero. And down here we create the handle upload success. So basically this year. And we give this here a name of file name. And then we basically say what's going to happen when we call this function. So in this case, we want to set the state, of course. So image is now the file name. So whatever our file name is will be inside there. The progress should be 100. And that's basically outside our set state. We want to uh, access the Firebase storage reference avatars child and then the file name that we have then we want to get the download your then we simply use then uh, save this here inside a new attribute so in this case simply url and then we want to get the state this sets uh, this dot set state and then we want to change the image URL to whatever is inside here inside our uh, get download URL which are stored inside URL so we have to set the image URL to URL and that's basically it so let's console lock uh, console lock our uh, state so this dot state um, see we get now here an empty string and so on. So let's upload a file and let's test this out. Again, the night sky. And you see it updated now. So inside our console, we have a night sky. Uh, the image URL is however empty and the progress is 100. Let's go to Firestore storage. As you can see, we will have here two folders now, right? So avatars. At least I do because I have created already uh, the new file. So we have here now the new file and we successfully uploaded it. So this is working just fine. So let's add the progress and the image preview on our file. First off, let's create a label here and let's call it progress. And let's also add here some kind of spacing. So let's add three breaking lines so that we have some kind of space here, right? So to show the progress, simply let's create an p tag and this dot state dot progress. You will have now here zero. So if we upload a file again, we see it will change to the current state. Now breaking line here of three as well and then label and let's call this image. And here we want to add some kind of um, if tag. So if the uh, state, if our image is empty, we don't want to show it, but if it's not empty, we want to show an image. So in this case, this dot state dot image and if there is an image, we want to get the image um, tag here, and it should be the source, of course, the state.image URL. So let's close this here. Actually, behind our tag here. Okay, it's working. So let's upload it one more time. And there we go. So whenever our string is not empty, we will showcase the image here. All right, so this is working just fine. So we're uploading the files to our storage. So again, if we go to storage, avatars, in my case, uh, you see we have now a bunch of uh, images here, which is basically the night sky. Okay, so this is working just fine. Now, there's actually one more thing I want to do, and that is to showcase an, a download link whenever the image is uploaded. And we can do this by simply typing again, this.state.image URL. And if it's not empty, we want to create a link with the reference to this.state.image URL. And then simply download me. Let's create a uh, breaking line here. 
so let's upload night sky one more time and there we go so we get now the download me button and if we click on that we get to the uh, page to the URL where we can download it so before we end this lesson let's adjust here also our progress uh, upload because right now it's a little bit hacky so here right at the top let's um, inside a file uploader we also have an attribute called on progress so let's create here a function called uh, uh, progress or handle progress and then here at the top we simply write uh, handle progress and then we get our variable called progress and inside here we want to set the state of progress simply to the progress so again we could call this whatever we want and in this case it updates more smoothly so let's go back here and again we want to upload the night sky and as you can see, it's now much more nicer and we get the download button here. So as you can see, we just have created our React application uh, with some kind of complex functions already to it where the user is able to upload files and it gets stored right into the Firestore. Now, of course, you can couple this with some login uh, system and uh, many more things. Um, but again, this is more... Uh, Simple tutorial in this case, especially for beginners. Uh, we were also so fast because we used React Firebase File Uploader. So it's a good package uh, that already has a lot of functions that are really convenient, uh, such as uploads, start or on progress function. So we don't have to uh, rewrite this all from scratch. We save a lot of time with that in this way. And as you can see, we just rapidly uh, create a new React app that is fully working. So I would say congratulations for that. If you enjoyed this video, of course, feel free to like it. And maybe if you enjoy my content, uh, subscribe to my channel. And there will be more future tutorials. If you have, of course, any suggestions you want to see in the future, feel free to use the comment section. Uh, in the new future, I will plan on do a full a login system with React and Firebase. And also some uh, topics about Vue, uh, which is also a framework in JavaScript. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And again, thanks for watching and see you in the next time. Bye.